All right, hello everybody. Dan the Brutal Vapor. Now, I know my first video didn't do that great, and that's fine. It doesn't bother me. Um, I'm the type that I don't give up, and um, I'm going to continue to try and do this um, just because I think it's important to um, get some information out to people about some stuff that you know maybe they don't know anything about um, maybe they've never heard of the places that are near me that that deal with e-juice and and mods and stuff like that so you know I, I'm not gonna give up I'm gonna keep trying so today um, even though my first video didn't go that great and yes this is only my second video I am not an expert but I'm going to keep trying um, I'm going to try to make my videos the best that I can and hopefully as informative as I can um, because I feel that it is important for people to see or, or, or learn about other juices or other uh, companies that are out there for us vapors. And today, like I said, I'm going to do two juice reviews fairly quick um, just to kind of talk about my opinions of them and again I am going to be brutally honest about it um, and give my brutal opinion of these juices one of them I talked about in my first video it is called Aloha and it is from the vapor shop in Westminster Colorado um, this juice as you can tell I kinda like it um, that date right there is the date that I purchased it which was 618 so it's only been about four days or so and I've already vaped almost a half a 30 mil bottle so I like it it's almost become kinda like my daily vape um, I keep my clone Kraken almost full with it at all times and I've been using my Kraken on my clone Panzer which is working very very well I really like this um, this setup and I like I said I keep Aloha in there all day every day so far that I've had it um, my tank gets low I fill it right back up so without further ado let's go ahead and vape it see what the vapor content is how it looks um, before I do that this is a 50-50 PGVG juice um, and it, it it hits pretty good so let's go ahead and take a vape of it pretty good vapor production taste is really really good um, if you're into kind of the island fruity flavors um, the description of it is Aloha is the name of it again it says red apple pomegranate and pineapple our tribute to the islands and it is a tribute to the islands and the flavor um, I really taste the pineapple in it um, I love pineapple so it, it really sits on my tongue very well um, does not have a harsh throat hit uh, it hits very well um, I get a little bit of the red apple on the exhale and um, it's just a real nice general type fruity flavor it's really good um, again it is Aloha from the vapor shop uh, check it out check the website out they've got a pretty decent website um, I'll try and figure out how to put a link below as everybody else says um, and then we will hopefully you guys can can uh, check that out okay um, now my second juice review like I said I'm trying to do these quickly get them done get them out of the way um, that way people don't have to hear me rambling for minutes and minutes and minutes so um, my second juice review that I want to do, and the reason I want to do this juice review is because this juice is the very first juice that I started vaping when I started vaping about four months ago. Um, 
Now, the only problem with this is, is I've got it in um, one of my little cauterizer glass tanks here. And the only problem is, is I don't have very much of it left. Um, and as you can see, the bottle is completely empty. Um, this is about my third bottle of this e-juice. This e-juice is called Luxury Yacht. And it is from... Um, the steam spot in Louisville, Colorado, and let me pull this up real quick. Should have already had this done, but I didn't. So the steam spot in Louisville, Colorado, and the juices. Pull it up real quick. It'll take just a second. Right here it is. Now it says luxury yacht. It says it's pear, bananas, and honeydew all paired together to create this huge fruit blend. Again, very fruity. I do like the fruity flavors. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned this a second ago, but I do vape a zero nicotine. Everything I vape, everything I, everything I put into any of my atomizers, cauterizers, any of it is a zero. I don't smoke any nicotine whatsoever. Um, I have not touched a real cigarette in about 10 years um, and I've not had a bit of nicotine in as long as that. So I only smoke a zero. Uh, maybe that's why the throat hits not as harsh for me um, and I can vape just about anything um, except for a cigar type flavor which I did and do have a couple um, with zero nicotine, but it's still they make them so harsh. They're hard to smoke Anyways back to luxury yacht luxury yacht, and it doesn't say what their PG VG blend is um, Doesn't say it so I don't know um, But this juice is a very very fruity juice. Like I said, it's got pears bananas and honeydew um, it's a very good, it's not real, real, real fruity like, oh my god, I'm just eating, you know, um, the sweetest fruits out there. It's not. Um, but let's go ahead and vape it real quick. I'll show you what, how it hits. I'm using it on my MVP too, um, and we'll see what it does. Yeah, dry hit kind of sucks. Ooh, I got a, I got a good first half of that was was flavor, um, real nice and fruity. Um, you can really taste the pears. I don't taste so much of the bananas, which I'm not a huge banana fan, anyways. Um, but you can really taste the really taste the pears, really taste the honeydew. Um, it's pretty good. The, uh, I'll try and also put a link to the Steam Spot. I'll put a link to their website. Um, I'll try and figure that out down below as well. Um, and um, but check them out. They're really good. Again, um, Luxury Yacht is the one that I'm reviewing. Um, it's pretty good flavoring. And the first again re refresh. The first review is Aloha from the vapor shop in Westminster, Colorado. And the steam spot is in Louisville, Colorado. So check the websites out, guys. Um, hopefully, going forward, my videos will be a lot better, a lot, a lot, uh, a lot easier. Um, again, I am brutally honest, and I'm brutally honest to say that these two flavors have been um, pretty much my go-to all-day vapes. And... Um, if they weren't, I would just flat out say it ain't worth a darn. Um, but I can't say that about these two. They're pretty good. And um, that's about it for today. Hopefully my hopefully this second video is a little bit better than the first. I'm not really editing my videos because I haven't figured that out yet. Um, but please comment below. Please let me know if it's doing any better. Um, I'm hopefully going forward with a few of my videos. I'll be getting a little bit better. And... Like I said, 
I'm not ordering a bunch of juices off the internet from different places around you know the United States or wherever thing. I'm getting my stuff locally right now, paying for them with my own money. Nobody is giving me stuff. Um, I'm not opposed to that. Don't don't get me wrong. If if someone was to say here try this, I will try it, um, and uh, go from there. So please comment below, uh, and I appreciate it. And once again. Dan the Brutal Vapor. See y'all later.